Gary. Well, say your name's Gary. Hi, Gary. Thank you for your comments and thank you for being a top subscriber. We just like to say, stick it up your mother's backside. <laughs> Look at the moustache on him. Yeah, I'm nice and warm, though. Do you know that moustache, mate? I would definitely not want a piece of look at your hard drive. That's a fact. Twist right. it up. Twist up your. I twist can't it. be off. Come on, twist it up. Is it Monday morning, Bugs? That's exactly how I feel. Is it time for work? Let's... You talking? Let's go. Nick at BNP. Um, yeah, looks like we're in for another cold one this week. The threatening snow, I doubt it. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, we've got this week we're doing a driveway at Colton in Nottingham, which is pretty cool for me. It's where I grew up, it's my local, my hometown, so to speak. So it's quite nice working here. Um, yeah, nice little job, pleasure to do. Bread and butter. Um, looking forward to this one. Should be pretty straightforward unless something goes horrendously wrong. I can't see it. Um, we'll throw the footage in for the completion of the job last week as well. Uh, we, uh, I couldn't record that and get it up in time. I had a, a training course over the weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if you can believe it. So I'm currently on my eighth day straight, I think, today of, of working. I've not had a single day off. Um, training course was pretty gruelling. It's there at eight in the morning, get home at six. So yeah, pretty bad, but uh, we'll get there. Uh, these things have to be done. Um, so yeah, I'll give it a minute. It's still a little bit dark out, so I'll give it half an hour. I'll have a little walk around and show you guys the job. Uh, wait for Foldsy, Ryan and Chris to get here. Um, and yeah, we'll, 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 we'll show you as we go along, as we do. Uh, again, I just want to thank you all for um, for your support, um, for subscribing. It means a lot, honestly. I love commenting. Genuinely, I do respond to every comment, which is difficult. There's a lot of you now. Um, but I do, even if it's just a smiley or a little emoji or something, it is genuinely me, it's not generic. So I do take the time to sort of read all your comments and try and chat to you as many as, many of you as I can. Um, yeah, so thank you. If you're watching this and this is your first experience of our channel, click the subscribe button, um, like the videos. Yeah, please, it, it doesn't cost you anything. It really helps us grow the channel. It's great for business. Times are hard at the minute, as we all know. Um, you know, with all this, um, you know, energy crisis and all this carry on. So we're all feeling it in the pocket. So something that you guys can do, just clicking that subscribe, clicking that like button, commenting, things like that. You know, they help us out in, as a business and, and that's what it's all about. I do the same for anybody else. So thank you guys. I shall show you around the job shortly. Okay, so the sun's finally up and we're getting started. Chris is already underway. Um, obviously I did video, it was pitch black when we got here. So I shall just flip around, we'll show you the job. Okay, this is the job here. We've got a little bit of thin concrete here that's kind of already broken and frost damage were breaking up. Um, so basically it's this whole driveway here. This plant is already done, so we're gonna take all this area out, new edgings across. We're gonna um, obviously install a new driveway and sort it all out. There's a slight problem with the drainage at the back. I'm trying to just get past Chris before he breaks my ankle. Sorry, mate. Um, yeah, we've, this downpipe was, down was encased in concrete and there was just nothing you know, stopping this bit getting blocked up. So this downpipe was backed up. So as we've taken the concrete up, all the water's managed to escape. So it's just leaking out of the property at the minute. So we'll have to tackle that in a minute, make sure that's all unblocked and sorted. Um, that's it really. I think it should be pretty simplistic getting it out. We should have a load ready for about one o'clock, ready to go. We'll get Kelly Grabs already arranged and booked coming out. 
So yeah, I'll flick over to a little time lapse and we'll we'll get it dug out. So me and Folder just stopped at the petrol station. I can't believe how much fuel's gone up at the minute. It's literally, I think I used to put 20 pound in diesel in this van and it, I'd get like 90 mile. Probably getting the same for about 30 now. So all adds up, doesn't it? So yeah, we just nipped to a quote. Me and Folder put some fuel in the van. We will go back to Sai and uh, we've got to tackle this this downpipe. I'll show you guys what's going on. Um, it's I've not I've seen it before, but into a soakway in a lawn or something. I've never seen uh, a, a storm drain under the ground. That's just it's just literally just the end of the pipe's cut off and it's just into it's just been flooding under the driveway and all backing up and spewing washing machine all down the uh, driveway. So looking at it though. At the back of the house is where the main sewers and the main drains run and on the back of the properties um, and it's looking like it will, we'll be able to get someone in and we're going to get them to redirect the uh, the down part of the uh, gutters so we can fold the new extension back. I'll show you when we get there and we're going to fold it backwards and then they'll pipe it at the back of the property into the actual storm drains because unfortunately we can't put a soakway in the driveway because it's just all clay um, and being realistic there's this thing you know and you there's all these rules and laws regarding soakways, but they're just not ideal. I would never recommend having a soakway under a driveway where possible. Ideally, it wants to be under a planter or it wants to be, you know, under a lawn area next to a driveway where possible. So, it, yeah, it's very, I'm a bit, I've got a bit of a, it's a bit of a sore subject, soakways with me, really. Unless it's ideal, I, I personally wouldn't, you know, if you guys watching who are thinking about having a driveway done or whatever else, um, yeah, I would never really want a soakway under under my driveway. It's uh, it's never going to end well, you know, over a 10 year period. You know, people are going to watch this and go, oh yeah, but if you do it properly, blah, blah, blah. I've got experience, I've done it for years. 10, 50, people pay a lot of money for this. 10, 15 years down the line, you've got a big soggy tank of water under your driveway. It's never going to end well. It's just logical thinking. So I know there'll be people in the comments arguing the toss as usual. <laughs> but, it's, that's experience, mine's actual knowledge, so you know, it's, you know, an experience. So it's not just what I've read in a book or done once. So there we go. But yeah, we're just on the way back to the job now. Folders in charge of the machinery. Always up. Rock and roll, my chauffeur. And um, I hate driving, not a fan of it. Um, so we'll get back to the job. I'll show you what's going on with this drain. We're dug out now. We're just waiting for a uh, grab lorry to arrive. We'll get that on video for you guys to watch. Um, we can't use DJ today, unfortunately. I think he's down. I saw on his. Um, on his news feed, he's, uh, I think he's down in Plymouth or somewhere, we, in Mighty Wyatt, I don't know what's going on there, so I'll have to ask him about that. And uh, yeah, rock and roll. So we'll see how it goes. So, not the best Monday morning. Got here this morning, and there was like a little thin slab of concrete on top of this driveway. This this this, this side where Ryan stood now, this side was the driveway. And um, when we lifted it up, water just started all bubbling up and, and like, and it, you can tell the difference is foul and the storm. And there's also a piping that comes in from the washer. So because of the soap, it's got a certain smell to it. So we know it's it's top water and obviously it's it's from the washer. Obviously there's a down pipe to indicate that. So we knew the water wasn't sewage. However, this pipe here, it just went into a 90 degree bend. There was a straight run here of pipe and it just finished here. Just finished under the ground. There's no manhole, there's no soak away nothing just under the concrete so basically for the last god knows how many years it's just been backing up with water under the ground so it's just completely knackered so we're having to take out i mean this ground here is awful so we're going to take all this ground out here so we're going to have to go down like two foot probably to get rid um and what we've done is we've um spoken to a, a plumber and a builder and they're going to come and redirect this downpipe into this gutter in and then run this gutter into the back so um, it runs along the back of the property, let me just show you. Sorry, it's a bit wavy that. Yeah, so we're gonna redirect, this downpipe's gonna go down into here. It only takes a small section of the top roof. It's gonna go down into this gutter here, along and run to the back there. Um, and then all the downpipes, there's another downpipe at the back, you can see it over there. So all the water, the top water will run into that downpipe, get rid of it into the, the drains at the back of the property. So they've got all the, fact, the actual sewers and everything running around the back of the property, manholes. So it could be properly piped in that way. And the same with the washer, the run back to the back of the house. So we're basically going to eradicate this completely because it's just not acceptable. And like I said earlier, I don't want to put soakway in right. You can imagine you come onto your driveway and you're just putting a soakway and you've got soakway here in the middle of the drive. It's just in my mind, I'm just not comfortable with it. So there you go. And on top of things now, it's just started hailing. <laughs> Would you believe it? So yeah, happy days. 
Right, so we've got the first grab lorry here. Get this pop away. Obviously we'll have a little time lapse so that so you guys can see. But you know how we rock and roll. That's all going away. We'll get rid of our nice little 15 ton. I've got Folger on the front. Just checking for pedestrians, making sure people don't attempt to walk past while we're loading. So we need to be a little bit careful of that. But Ryan right this side, Connell was over there, but Chris is distracting him. And uh, yeah, let's look over to the time lapse. Okay, so I know it's very difficult to see on this because of the level of damage that broken pipe or that pipe has caused with this water running under the ground. We've had to excavate, I mean, we're getting on for where, sort of where Ryan stood here, sort of two foot deep here. So we're just taking out all the, the damp earth so it's solid again underneath and it's just no good. You can't, can't do anything with it. So unfortunately, you know, the customer's gonna have to pay for a little bit of extra road stone and a little bit more muck away, but it's, it's gotta be done, it's worthwhile doing, otherwise they're just gonna have problems further down the line. So as you can see, Chris is just finishing the dig out now. It's not looking very aesthetically pleasing at the minute because it's a bloody, it's a hell old to be honest. Looks like something out of Call of Duty. But um, yeah, the next load's ready. We're getting to depth. Uh, so we're just now waiting for the next grab lorry. Chris is just finishing up the dig out and we're getting rid of all this, this wet earth. So we'll get rid of that and tomorrow we'll get a good couple of loads of roadstone here. Probably, put, probably 20, 20 to 30 ton in here. I'll know after the first load more so. And we'll get the job done, won't we, Fold D? Brother. There you go. Good morning, everybody. It's a cold one. We're frozen again. It's about minus one at the minute. It's picking up. Luckily, we haven't got a lot of concrete to do, so it's not too bad. Today, we've got about 30, I think 30 plus, 30 ton of roadstone to go in and whack up. Uh, we're just trying to defrost the machine as it's completely frozen, so we've got that running to warm up. Um, and we're just waiting for the, uh, the lorry to come with the stone as arranged. So, yeah, I shall... Uh, show you that as soon as it arrives and we'll get a bit of a time lapse of it being knocked around all absolutely riveting um but yeah so um we'll go over to that so as you can see frozen we're trying to defrost but it's not it's not the easiest thing to defrost it's not got air conditioning and heated windows so old school it's not way <laughs> leave the engine running so everything's dug out, it looks appalling at the minute, it looks really bad. But like I say here, you know, we've gone to it, it's two foot deep. Um, and a majority of the job we've actually dug out a lot deeper than we needed to, just to get rid of this slop. So um, yeah, we've got rid of all this mush and mud. Um, we're gonna put some nice type one MOT down, uh, get it all compacted in, in layers, hopefully get the edgings in today, depending on the temperatures. We're gonna use uh, like a frost proof art that gives us a bit of an allowance. So. Uh, but the, the, the issue is more my van's absolute chocker, so it's whether I can fit the materials in the van today. So we'll see how it goes. Hold oh, there, just go and stand there for me. Just here, look. Just, just there, look. Come on, then. What about that cable, look? Better keep an eye on that. So the grab lorry's arrived have to lift the crane out of the way so we can tip the back so we're going to tip all this to type one out i think we've got 16 i think we've got 16 ton here now so we're gonna to have to wait for another load shortly team is all defrosted chris is ready to rock here we go first load of stone in here Tipping it, the boys are watching the traffic. Chris is getting ready now to drag it all. Woo! It's a lot of stone there, don't look it. Oh. Hi, Bodie! You alright Dwayne? 
did is still a little bit of stone inside the machine, inside the, in the grab. So we're trying to pull it out of the way just to allow that to fall out onto the onto the ground. So it doesn't have to. Otherwise, it, it'd have to drive forward and allow it to fall out, which obviously with the traffic obstructions and so on could be a bit problematic. So it's the safest way of doing it. However, it's very easy saying that when you've got a JCB that is sat here. So that's the first load done. Just dropping the. the so that's the first load done. We've just dropped the bed back down on the wagon. Dwayne's now going to lower the crane back into that so it's, you know, all secure. And then he shall be boggering off to do something else. And uh, we'll work out how much more stone we need and arrange the second load, which should be hopefully, if we're blessed, mid-morning. If not, could be a bit of an hanging about for us. But uh, yeah, by today, the, the, all the stone will be in a wackered, And we've got to get it in a wackered today because of the frost. It'll freeze over tonight, so it's got to be compacted. It's looking like, as I say, we're going to need some more stone. And I think we should have a little bet on it. How much more are you saying we need, Con Con Connor? What do you reckon? I don't think it's as much as you think. I reckon five or six ton. Do you reckon? You're going ten? What are you saying? Five. You're saying five. I'm saying six. You're saying ten. So closest one buys around then. Is that the deal? No, closest to being correct. Yeah, don't have to buy it around. Move it to me, buy it around. This is why I'm a pop paper, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Connor was right there. The furthest away buys the round. It's not the closest. So there'd be no point winning, would there? So, uh, up here for, what is it? Up here for thinking down there for dancing. Yeah. There you go. That's probably the cleverest thing you've ever done. One off. That's gone in the top three, hasn't it? Ryan's just giving the first, we've put some stone down, got the first layer down, we're just going to give it a whack and out, the first layer, and we're going to top it back up some more stone, about another two inches on top, three inches, we'll pack that, and it should be there. had six ton dropped off we're just knocking that about so we're just topping the level up we've already compacted all this um so we're just going to top the level up and recompact it again just to bring the level up to where we need it um yeah things start to take shape so tomorrow hopefully we'll get the path edgings in weather depending and we'll get it all sunscreened and laid tomorrow ready for cutting in thursday friday and completing well it's certainly a frosty one this morning here we go again so Johnny Steams have just arrived. That's all the materials here. Just warming the machine up again. It's frosted up so we can get out. So it's going back today. And we're laying a rustic doll 50 mil paver on this job. Okay, so it's been a bit difficult to record this morning. It's freezing, there's loads to do. So Johnny's dropped the materials off. We've put all the sand in, we've knocked it around about an inch thick compacted it now we're just setting the bars we're going to attempt to screed it get it all done so fingers crossed if it stays okay the weather will get laid up today Okay, so as you saw in the time lapse, we have screeded the drive. Ryan's just hand floating up where the bars have been, tamping it down manually with the float to make sure it doesn't compact as we lay. Just do this little bit near the front now as we're coming out, and then we shall start laying.
So I messaged in the other day and I need you lot to help settle a debate. So I messaged me basically telling me that I was block paving wrong in a sense that I lay it or me and Chris lay it wrong in a sense that we kneel down to do it and we don't stand up and we should stand up and use our backs. So let me demonstrate what he was saying was the right way to do it and the way we do it. So, just let, so I'm not saying it is right or wrong, but we just need to see. So my argument is it right, we've got knee pads on, industrial knee pads, we kneel down to lay and the lads load out and we lay as we go. But this chap was saying that we do, we're doing it wrong, that we should do this. Because if we kneel down, we're, we're knackering our knees up, but we should do this instead. Or this or whatever. And I'm like, surely that's worse for your back and your knees than just kneeling down on knee pads. Don't get me wrong, either way someone's going to get broken. <laughs> your back or your knees, but well, that's just the job, isn't it? What do you say, Captain? Look at his... Look at moustache on him. I'm nice and warm though. Do you know that moustache, mate? I would definitely not want the police to look at your hard drive. That's a fact. Twist right. it up. Twist up your. Twist I can't it. be off. Come that. on, twist it up. <laughs> Look at that. 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 And then drag them over a load of path edgings. Now I know people do that on new build sites, but we don't do it here because it just gets. Do you remember his pizza. name? I don't remember. Right, we'll but I'm not. Him. I'm not saying the guy. Eh? <laughs> we'll say your name's Gary. Hi, Gary. Thank you for your comments and thank you for being a top subscriber. We just like to say, <laughs> stick it up your mother's backside. <laughs> right, so we've cut in. Just dropping some borders in now. So I cut it around the bays and on the radiuses. Um, and then obviously tomorrow we'll, we'll, we'll concrete it all, give it a good wash down, get the tarmacers here to do this. So yes, uh, it's getting there. So this one's gone really well, to be honest. So I've got a bit of alterations to this wall and so on, but yeah, it's getting there. Boop. Morning everybody, Nick at BNP. It is Thursday morning. And to be fair, we're doing pretty well on this job. We are nearing completion. We've got a couple of radial borders to go in bit of concrete and so on um yeah we'll give it a good clean down uh, i believe tomorrow's meant to be a lot warmer like six degrees so tomorrow we'll come back and compact it so we'll show you some footage of that i'm here early as usual surveying the landscape as i do um, and why i'm here i have some footage of a couple of jobs so i have some footage of the job we completed last week. However, at the point of recording, um, the tarmac strip at the front of the driveway, the sort of lip from the pavement into the driveway hadn't been tarmacked as um, we subcontracted it out to another firm who come and do that. So they were, they were sort of, they couldn't come on the day we'd finished or they were coming in the afternoon. So yeah, so it might look a little bit odd, but it's sort of from the edging driveway onwards, the tarmac was in an hour later. So that's all in and, and done now. I'll try and when I'm next in that area, I'll get a video of that and I'll update it. Uh, and the other video clip I have is um, of the job that Chris and Ryan did before Christmas when it was freezing cold and um, the patio and um, all the artificial turfs now gone in it looks really nice actually I mean it, it was a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare before Christmas or the mud and, and everything else just a ball ache um, but it's uh, it's looking pretty good now so yeah I shall f we'll flick over to that now and um, I'll just wait for the lads to arrive and we'll, we'll watch those little clips and um, I'll stick a bit of music on as I do and you know give it a little bit of a montage and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So uh, let us know what you think of the patio um, in the comments, that'd be cool. So yeah, remember, like and subscribe if you're still watching at this point, we really appreciate it. And uh, have a good day.
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the footage. I uh, say it was a shame the tarmac wasn't completed when we videoed it, but such is life, we have to be places. So we're back to Colton in Nottingham and I'll show you what's going on at the job. Okay, so it's a bit mucky and a bit frozen, but basically all cut in now, edgings are just going in. We're just going to recut a bit near the house up here that we weren't happy with. Um, got concrete and gravel traps, both sides to go in. Radials have got to be cut. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Again, we're going to cut tarmac out this afternoon, cut a strip out. We cut like a little rectangular trough and then the tarmac is coming and do that. Just amending this wall and fence. So we've cut the fence off now and we're going to cut this wall off here. It'll leave a bit of a polished edge with the stilly, but it's an extra the customers asked for. It wasn't actually contracted. So we're just doing him a favor. Um, yeah, so it's going on nicely. Oh, and I spoke about it earlier in the week. The plumber is here and he's redirecting the downpipe and resetting the gutter into into the back because as I said this downpipe literally ran you could call it a soak away but it wasn't really a soak away there was no sort of aggregates or anything in it it was literally just like just going under the ground to soil and backing up and spewing all the uh, washing machine and everything out of this pipe here so it was no good it couldn't be used at all so hence why we put quite a big gravel trap in at this side because we want a bit of you know something to take the uh, rainfall Big man on campus, big little horse. This is what you do, yeah? Against Daniel San. Hi! Easy. I'm not gonna lie, I think I've got a little bit of a. Fucking it, you bloody bad boy, and tell. Look at him! <sighs> well, it's not a cold. Loving life. Right. <laughs> Yo, yo, peeps, we're getting there. The boys, um, sugar, doing the thing, cutting in. <laughs> Mess everywhere. Jobs now cut in, bar a few little cuts there that Foldsy, the main man's doing. Got the backing up going in. Looks a complete mess. Everywhere is mega dirty. So we're gonna get the jet wash out in a minute. Cut this bit of wall back here for the customer. Problem with sandstone is when you cut it, it looks a mess. But we've told the customer that and they're not bothered, so they, they want a clean edge on that because they're going to put a new fence up against it here. So that's going to go up. Old Folds has been doing some good cuts, look. Taught him well. Come and sh show the peeps then what you've done. Look at these little beauties here. Ooh. Look at them, them little mitres. Friday, actually. Yours. Yeah, yeah. Are you proud of yourself? No. Why? Because I'm working here. I'm proud of you. Cheers, mate. I'm proud of him, he's doing well. When he first started, he couldn't do nothing. He was a bum. And now he's risen up Basically. to the man that he is now. Great. <laughs> I love you. Cheers, mate. Right peeps, that's it. Jet washed, tarmac's cut out, tarmac is coming. At some point to re-tarmac this. Dries in, cut in, got the gravel in, just getting a wash off. It's all jet washed up, nice and clean. Don't think unfortunately it's gonna be dry enough to get the sand in tomorrow, but we're gonna whack her up tomorrow, hopefully it'll dry it out a bit. With the freezing temperatures, who knows. So that's it, it's all hunky dory. Two o'clock. Nice little early finish for the boys. Well deserved. Well deserved, yeah, very well deserved early finish. There's the stig, not going on camera. There's the second stig, and there's stiggy number three. And stig number four, me. Ta da! Catch you tomorrow when we're gonna whack a plate this and have a bloody good time, aren't we, Con? Don't have a good time. Look at him, look, he looks like a... You look, <laughs> you look like a, a, a knight or something, like a samurai knight. Ooh, I'll take that. 
you're not fresh, bro. They got all the. Did they? They, so. they, they were, I don't think they did. They were mainly men who just went out on boats and stuff together for a very long time. Sounds alright. It does to you, ah. Huh? Morning, everybody. It is Friday. This time of year is so frustrating. So, driveways in and done, but as you can see, it's frozen or it's frosted over. So the temperature is meant to be warmer today. It's meant to get up to about six o'clock by lunch, uh, six o'clock, six degrees by lunchtime. But uh, it's just frustrating. It's, we've got about an hour's work to do in ideal. If the temperature was right, it's an hour's work. But it probably means we're gonna have to go and sit in a sit around for three hours, four hours, wait for the temperature to pick up to uh, to whacker it. As I say, the sub base will be frozen and it won't compact. So um, yeah, we're gonna have to wait for it to defrost. So it's very frustrating. But um, yeah, but we're getting there. Tarmac's cut out ready. We're just waiting for tarmac just to come now. Like I say, driveways all in. Obviously, this is just frost. It's not mulk. Um Yeah, so uh, very, very frustrating morning trying to get things done. But this is what happens this time of year. We'll get it compacted, but I think we're going to struggle to brush any sand in. But it's just what happens this time of year. Um, ideally, we like to, when it, it to be dry, we put the sand down and compact the sand into it. But this time of year, we just have to whacker it and either come back and sand it when it's... Uh, when the temperature's right and when it's dry. Um, and that's the only way to do things, really. Here we have the man, the myth, the legend, Dave on Mighty White. Happy New Year, Happy New Year David. He's come to pick up these rubble bags, just load them onto the back of the wagon. Make sure his pavement's nice and clean. David's had a bit of sign writing done to the wagon. It's looking pretty good. Okay, so we're about there. We're about to use some uh, ingenious ideas to get this whacker today, but it's finally worked out. So I'm sorry I didn't video record that, but um, we're too busy scratching our heads as out to how to go about it. But we managed to, um, we've had to defrost the drive with the hose. So we've had to sort of wet it all down and then compact it as we're wetting it to sort of defrost the sub base. So it's slightly saturated at the minute, but it has whackered down. So needs to dry out now and it'll be fine so we'll pop back next week and give it a uh we shall give it a sanding up tough job absolutely frozen the hands are red raw but we get there every single time so yeah we'll flip to a little montage of uh, the finished product well near finished about two percent off <laughs> 